Just another update on my Australian or Eastern Water Dragons. They are here, both of them, one on top of the other. Both fem or what I think is a female. Ninety-five percent sure it's a female. Is on the top there. She's just having her first shed since I've had her, and um, her new skin appears to be green, or slightly green. Seems that the Australian water dragons aren't actually green like the Chinese water dragons. You probably can't tell because it'll be a bit blurry because every time I try and put the video on YouTube it becomes a lot more blurry than what I am seeing right now. Unfortunately. My pump is up and running, my waterfall, except, um, unfortunately, there is another leak in the back. Um, the leak, um, the original leak was down here, I'm shining the light, just behind the pump. That's all covered up now, and there's no water whatsoever coming through there. There is now water coming through somewhere around here. Except I have absolutely no idea because there is no holes that I can see at all. I'll take you around the back and see what we can see with the um wake. This is behind the waterfall. You can see the chicken wire and the fiberglass mold over the chicken wire. But over there, where you can see all that silicon, is where the original leak came from. There's no water coming out of there now. Those darker streaks aren't um, water, that's just the stains left behind from the I mean the fiberglass resin. The leak is coming from somewhere. I'll just move the camera. Um somewhere down here. But I'm not sure where. There you go, somewhere down there. You can see the big pool of water there. I've got tried to get most of it out, but I can't get it all out. And yes, you're probably thinking I should just empty the water, except the water in the back there doesn't seem to be doing much harm to the back of the tank, so it should be fine just for another day until I find where the hole is and also with having um, the water in there it will help me see where the water is leaking through maybe there will be a few bubbles or just movement in the water around the hole also this is the best the pumps ever been working because every time I empty the water the pump here um, can't suck up the water obviously so the hose at the back just fills up with air even when the pump's off then when I turn the pump back on to s with the water in um, there's air bubbles in the pipe so what I have to do is I have to get this thing here This thing here, it's just like a big long tube with a rubber hose on the end. It's what I use to clean out the water. You just suck on the end of the hose and um, 
the water just flows through here like so and um, what I have to do is fill this end tube bit up with water and then hold the end of the pipe up to where the water flows out so and um, put it up right so the water flows down behind there goes down and gets through the air bubbles but it's just very annoying everything I try seems to leak anyhow but it will work work eventually hopefully just can't see the problem I found when I hold my water dragons which I like, you should hold your water dragons to for at least 30 minutes a day to tame them up um, when I hold them I find that it seems that they're only young and still a bit nervous around me they're not 100% tame well, really they're not tame at all except I find when I hold them I close one of their eyes and it's always the eye that's facing me and looking at me I try and pretend that they're asleep probably can't see it but the female on the top here has got his eye closed no, nope, you can't see that, it's too low. So if I go around here... No, nope, you can't, you won't be able to see that bit. Anyway, that eye's open. So, this um, light here with UV coming out, it's called um, Sun Glow. Move it up and down. It's just a floodlight that I changed the white globe that I installed so um yeah normally I just leave it on about that angle to shine all right and then get through into the water except because they're um up the top here on the vine um what it looks like is they'll be sleeping there tonight so probably won't be moving much because it is about 8 o'clock at night time and I've got a timer over here which um turns everything off including the waterfall at 9.30 at night so I'll just leave this um, light on them until then it's only an hour and a half and I don't think they'll be moving much they may be both asleep except I can't see the other side of their heads so I'm guessing at least one of them is just pretending to be asleep pretty sure they are and yeah for those who haven't seen some of my other videos they're usually always together in my tank because in the wild water dragons or at least Australian water dragons they live in packs so they live in big groups together and um in the pack there's always one dominant leader which is the biggest male with the brightest colours and um they can get up to packs of about maybe 15 lizards or maybe even more and um yeah, they just like to hang around together, keep each other company. Unless there's two males, then the um, leader male will sort out any trouble in the group between the other lizards. Except I don't know if you have a male or what I know of, I don't have a male. 